Hello to everyone, this is Adventure Story and today we will continue with our lesson number 3. As you can see here from previous lesson, we start our diesel generator number 1, ok? And for the moment, ok, we have number to which generator is working. Okay, now it's working number two diesel generator. In this lesson we will go to start our boiler. Easy easy heat up our fuel system. Okay, as you can see here there is no pressure. Our boiler is zero pressure. Zero flow. Temperature is 30 degrees. It's very low. As you know, the boilers must start progressively and there is some specific way to start the boilers. If the boiler is very big, we need more time to heat up. If it's small, it's uh, the time is less, sure, but there is a procedure. First of all, we open the ventilation at the top of the boiler. And easy, easy, we will start the burners. I will give here. First of all, we check if you if you have some alarm. We have some low atmospheric okay pressure. Okay, press here, reset. Okay, it's not go. After we will increase the pressure, this will go. I will give here airflow ten. This one controls the air fan boiler. I will switch on the fan. I will set the burner type to diesel oil. And here I will give also 10. And we have an A alarm. That means boiler tip indication and we do not have automatic steam. I will press F12 to stop the alarm. This is the acknowledge F12. In my computer, I need to press Fn and F12 together. Okay, we need here atomizing air. Without atomizing air, we cannot start our boiler. I will switch on switch on also to diesel here. Okay, and we need to check the fuel line from the tank. Okay. The diesel is series here, okay, it's coming here, and this valve needs to open the boiler. And, okay, it's ready. I will start the pump. We have pressure, we have flow, we don't have. That means we have some small circulation here in this section. As you can see, this, this pressure regulator is open and it's circulated here. Okay, fuel is ready, uh, diesel, and we have set also set points. We need atomizing air. I will go here in this section, and we need to start our service air compressor. Okay, I, first of all, I will open all the valves to not have any restriction from the lines. And then I will start the compressor and it's working. And also I will open the cooling. Yeah, the cooling is passing here and I will check also the cooling fast. Yes, we need to start. Okay, now our compressor is working for the little time, but I will need to open the cooling here and I will start also the pump I will prepare here the system quickly so our service compressor will not heat up or we can go and switch off our compressor it's the better way because our system is not ready and we don't like to overheat our compressor because it's only one and as you can see here we cannot give any other system to this service uh, in this ship. 
Okay. This one will go here. First of all, we will start this cooling pump, but first we need to check the line here to expansion tank. Coming after that, we need when we will start our main engine, we will fill out also our expansion tank. Okay, here we are okay. This one here back to the ball thermostatic okay here auto auto here also and we let's check our line uh, water will passing from here suction will give here this is our air compressor cooling passing here 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 and back and from the cooler here here this cooler will interchange the temperature between seawater which we have already prepared and will come back here ok I can start here the pressure will come up and also I can start here one HD pump ok and I will set in remote 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 and remote ok we have flow over here after we start our boiler, we heat also our main engine with steam. Everything here is fine. Okay, we'll go back to our air compressor. Here, you can see, I press this button, 060, and we go here. If I press back, we'll go again here, our previous page. We have an alarm, alarm, okay, what alarm is that? It's okay, the temperature. I will press Fn and F12 to acknowledge the alarm. Okay, and now I can start our service air compressor. What again? Uh, it's okay, it's high temperature. The other one, okay, we know it's low, and it's easy we increase our pressure and our alarms go off and here it's going to our oil fire bowl, boiler okay this valve need to be open and this valve need to switch to air so it's passing from here here to our nozzle and now we can reset this alarm this alarm was low atmospheric pressure for this atomizing steam I suppose, yes ok, we have fuel, we have air we have our boiler air fan open and we can start to purge ok, I press purge ok, let's see what alarm is that service air pressure high Ok, let's press acknowledge and we go immediately there to check why service air pressure is high. The safety valve is open, ok, I switch off. That happens because that happens because we forget to set in auto. I will press home, page down pump control and we set here auto these pumps which is ready and also service air compressor in auto that's why we have that problem but for now our safety valve save our air compressor service air compressor okay this one is the safety valve and we can start set on be on and I will go to the boiler ok here and I already give patch make patching that means our uh, here we need no 100 100 air flow maximum as you can see here the flow will increase Yes, and we'll give maximum quantity of air, maximum quantity of air, yes, and after 
when our boiler is ready for start <coughs> yes you can see this became black and charging stopped and here we'll give 10 the set point and 10 here and I will press here burner 1 number 1 to start on as you can see our solenoid valve is energized here pilot fuel pump is working we have our ignition now all the solenoid is working energized and now we have flow of fuel we have flow of air and this is enough and our boiler is working now <coughs> in low mode low mode that means sometimes pressure until 7 bars or 10 bars depends on our boiler system okay and easy easy the boiler will take the working pressure and temperature I will go to boiler here here for five boiler for some time the, the boiler will increase only in temperature this is normal temperature will be increased our water level is fine this is the most important that we need to check uh, they they must be water every time if the water is low it's very dangerous because the damage will be severe and that's we do not want okay the temperature increases we can close easy easy but sometimes it depends more to open the vent okay close our vent here and we're waiting here our boiler to increase after we have some temperature increased we can easy easy to start our circulating pumps and uh, when we start also circulating pumps the amount of water that is inside the pipes is cold this will bring again to the boiler from the hot well tank or gasket tank sometimes they call it and okay what alarm we have control room air temperature it's coming up and F12 we need to start F12 F12 okay we need to start some fans in the engine room very important because our boiler is also suction air we do not need negative pressure inside engine room okay and I will go here process view here to the engine room fans and I will start engine control fan some supply fans some exhaust fans we need more supply we need to have positive pressure inside engine room never negative Okay, and go again here. As our generator is working, we need air. As our boiler is working, we need also air. As you can see, the pressure is increases, but no pressure still. It will take some time, and uh, I will start also some circulating. But first, I will check the pipeline it's okay here we'll set auto number and as I tell these circulating pumps which I will start here normally we will see some drop here in temperature because the cold water from gas boiler exhaust boiler will come back here from here and also the level will be increased and the temperature will drop normally but here I do not see the program as you can see here you see all the system of boiler here is the fire 
here is the tubes here is the water chamber and you can see also smoke indicator, oxygen and where we can supply steam here I will set in auto and we will wait easy easy to heat up our system okay after that when we have enough of pressure and the temperature is fine we will supply easy easy to our bunker tanks, settling tanks, service tanks, slash tanks, managing preheater, diesel purifiers and I will change from fuel from diesel to fuel okay that will be our in the lesson number four we will have this steam distribution heating up of fuel and change over from diesel to fuel our generator first and after that we will continue okay thank you for watching stay tuned we have a lot of lessons more bye bye